Hello everybody and good evening. I've been <laughs> well asked to do a um a sickle cell video based on my personal experiences and um I just feel as if you know it's about time I actually um just featured in one of the videos. Um what I'm gonna talk about, I'm just gonna talk about my top um top five tips on how I deal with managing my whole sickle cell. Um, one of the major questions I keep getting is from my DMs, you know, private messages and, you know, messages on Facebook via the Sikakan, um community group is that, um, you know, how do, I, why do I, how do I manage looking so well while being a sufferer? You know, as in, you know, they, to me, it's like, um, don't judge a book by its cover. I may not, you know, show the signs outwardly that I do suffer from sickle cell, but... You know, I do, you know, suffer from it, as in I've been in hospital, like, countless of times, especially during the last year. So that's something that, you know, you, that's, you know, you can't vouch for. So you never judge a book by its cover. Just because a person looks fine don't mean that they're going through their own internal stick or so battle internally. You you don't have to be screaming and crying, you know, for people to know that you're going through sickle cell. Sometimes people direct their pain internally, and it's more often a mental um, condition, you know, rather than a physical one for most sufferers anyway. But anyway, that's another story. Let's get into the whole um, top five ways on how I manage my sickle cell. The first thing is um, hydration. Always keep hydrated, you know, always keep water at hand. One of one of the major things that helps in recovery is, you know, your fluid intake. And, you know, it speeds up if you're regularly taking your fluids and, you know, you keep your body hydrated. Because being dehydrated and going through a sickle cell crisis, that is going to affect you even worse. You get me? It's going to you know, it's gonna slow recovery. It's going to make you worse. And water is basically, it's like gold to your um, recovery. Now, the second thing is to keep on top of your pain medication. I don't know what type of pain meds certain people have. Um, keep on top of your daily pain medication, the slight hint of pain that you're going through, make sure you, you're you quick to be on the meds. It could be your daily medication such as folic acid, penicillin, um, that helps with your immune system, um, your codridomol, cocodomol, naproxen, morphine, you know, all, whatever pain meds, even morphine, I'm on morphine, I'm morphine patches as well, so make sure you keep on top of your pain medication because... In regards to sickle cell, the pain medication manages the extreme pain that you're going through. It doesn't actually deal with the actual sickling itself, but I just it tends to be that you know the the lesser your pain, the more calmer you are, and the more speedy that you're going to recover. So it does aid in your recovery. You get on top of your pain. Now the third thing is do not overexert yourself, as you know we're, we're <laughs> human beings at the best of times are mere mortals. You get me? And imagine dealing with sickle cell and you're overzerting yourself. That is that is a recipe for disaster. I think most of the main reason why I go through crisis is me trying to do a million and one things at once. Um, because we are sicklers or um, sickle sickle cell patients, our, our, our oxygen intake because of our red blood cells dying at an alarming rate, we can't hold it you know, at a greater capacity. So make sure you get regular rest breaks, um, do not overexert yourself. Plan beforehand. You know, be organized and make sure that you rest. Sleep is key. Sleep, rest, and manage your you know your energy levels. Now, the fourth one is you got to take advantage of your regular checkups. Always follow your checkups when it comes to GPs, doctors, hospital specialists. Follow up. They're the ones that monitor your body, the insides. You know, they they monitor your blood levels, blood pressure. Red blood cell count, white blood cell count, liver function, heart function, everything. Make sure you take control and you manage these hospital appointments because just keep in touch. You don't know how you're doing if you, if you know if you don't get the test, you don't get the blood test and see the results. So make sure you keep on top of that. Now the last and most important thing is do not be afraid to tell your sickle cell story. Okay, many sufferers are ashamed or feel some sort sort of stigma attached to having sickle cell. And I'm just saying do not do that. That's the worst thing you can do. Suffer in silence. People need to know. The main reason why we haven't got the cure, we haven't got the funding secured is because not many people know about sickle cell. And it's it's an illness that affects our black community. So that is something that we do need to bring to the forefront, get the awareness out get more donors out so that, you know, they can supply 
help with the blood transfusions and also spread the word so we can get awareness out and get more funding and hopefully you know bring out a a global cure for sickle cell because right now not as much investment is 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 being put into this illness and the only one thing is because black people are too proud i'm just going to say it black ethnic minority people are just too proud to to tell their story and it's something that's killing us sickle cell is a killer so definitely tell your story share it post it do whatever you can to share your story because at the end of the, mo the, the worst thing about sickle cell is ignorance towards the illness as in you know, the ignorance is, is, is real it's crazy it is crazy so make sure you tell your story you never know you know your story could inspire others that are not doing well to you know to think this person's going through it if they can you know if they can tell their stories maybe my day could be better brighter Maybe I can go to share my story. So it just takes one person to inspire positive change. And in regards to sickle cell, just tell your story, guys. Okay, get the word out there. And I just want to say thank you guys for taking time to, to um, watch this video. Six minutes long, I know, but it's worth it. So from the whole sickle can owner um, community, I just want to say thank you again. And keep sharing my videos. Keep liking, join the page, the GoFundMe. Everything's there for you. So thank you again, guys. Okay, bye.